Well, good afternoon. Hello, it is. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's about 5 o'clock Central Time. I had two really interesting phone calls today. Uh, welcome today. Welcome to our 90 day 90 drawings right there, guys. I got a. Um, I was texting with Alfred. Alfred from Ireland this morning it was such such a cool uh, Facebook phone call. Um, he called me from Ireland to tell me he was enjoying that. There's Alfred. How you doing? Uh, Alfred gave me a call and he had his suit and tie on. He was on his way to work, I guess. And then I told him I would go live three hours ago. And I've been meaning to, but I keep getting things you know how how the day goes right you get the text and you get another phone call and text and then then suddenly i remembered oh my gosh i've got to get mario set up for spring or summer camp or spring camp so you know what he's gonna be so excited i got mario into a full week at a horse riding camp oh he's gonna be so excited in houston texas you think that we would have done that we we've done we we did it when he was young and he loved it, but I haven't done it in 10 years. And so I got him a week of horseback riding. Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited for him. I'm, I'm kind of jealous, but I have to get over my fear of horses. I love animals, but for some reason, horses just freak me out. They're beautiful, but boy, they have some big teeth. Anyways, here we go. Mark Kiss Imagination Station. Go to markkisser.com for information and to support it. This 90-day uh, webcast is brought to you by Marcus Imagination Initiative. Our sole purpose is to promote, to inspire, to educate, to uh, fill kids with the joy and the awe of visual arts around the world. So there's my, there's our book. Isn't that cool? Drawn 3D book. And the lesson we're going to get today, we're going to be doing a uh, lesson from. This is from Draw 3D now. Draw3D.com. Now, Draw 3D has these, uh, part of the Draw 3D, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the different club levels, I'll tell you about it, but Draw 3D, this is this membership right here, and it has 300 really awesome drawing lessons, commercial free, and been around for 10 years. We add five, on the average, just about every week, five new lessons to the Draw 3D collection. So my goal is to have over a thousand lessons commercial free on this one right here. 50,000 members over the last 10 years, hundreds of lessons. Here's your 50% coupon code and uh, the classroom license for elementary classrooms and homeschool groups usually is $299 for a family or $499 for a family uh, for groups of 10 or for a classroom, but that's down to $299 right now. And if you use this coupon code, you can get it for even half that. Get it for $149. So instead of $499, you can, it's listed at half online, plus you can put the code in there. So that's a really good deal. I'd love you guys so to, to sign up. So here we go. Today we're going to be talking about the Gingerbread Man. This is the Orange Pencil Club uh, mascot. The Orange Pencil Club is the, these cubes stacked in a certain specific time limit. There's 99 club levels. And I'll talk more about the club levels later on, but right now I just want to draw the mascot. I wanted to work on drawing the um, gingerbread man. Now the reason I have 99 club levels is because, let's go ahead and start with the 90 day, our logo here. The reason I have 99 club levels is I wanted you guys to have timed achievement levels to build up your confidence and your drawing instinct and your drawing enthusiasm okay so i call it developing uh, your your uh, cool as ice your instinct and your confidence and your enthusiasm and the way we do that is we have these 30 second accountability levels and one minute accountability levels and that's a big part of our my new book you can draw in 30 seconds basically just to get you to take that little little leap take that one step of moment of, of, of crazy courage just to put the pencil to paper and, and draw something, try to do it in a time limit. And uh, so here's Alfred signed up two weeks ago and I'm enjoying the 3D webpage. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Hi, Lauren Block. How are you? Hello, Karen Wall. Hi, Matt. How are you guys doing? Uh, thank you, guys. I'm so glad you guys joined me back. I'm so glad I didn't go too late for 
It's uh, Lisa Weiland here from Brazil. There is Sarge G. Hi, Sarge G. Hello, Emily Sanford. Hi, Karen Wall. Hi, Kevin LaRosse. I sure enjoy all Matt LaRock, Lauren Brock. I love all you guys coming on with me. So let's put the gingerbread man here. And I'm going to do this one. We're going to draw. See this guy? Look at We're going we're gonna to draw this guy. And I'm definitely going to. I want to draw this guy right here. The gingerbread man jumping into the a glass of milk. The gingerbread man cookie. So at the top, I'm going to come back to the 90. We know this is going to say 90 days. We know it's going to say 90 drawings. And 90 days, 90 drawings. And we know this is day 60, what? Day 60, I'll leave that open. I think it's 63. But I want to start with uh, one gingerbread. We're going to put, I'm going to put uh, one gingerbread over here. And I'm going to put one here, and I'll put the glass of milk here. So let's draw this guy first. So do a, um, do a light line to slant and uphill. Just do a light line direction. I'm going to call that direction north. Remember our drawing direction compass? Direction north, uh, east, right? <clears throat> All right, now, I'm going to draw another one about right here. Get smaller. The line gets smaller as it moves away. All right. So this this is going to be the arm. That'll be the arm of the gingerbread now. Now, right in the middle, about right here, I'm going to put his, his head. Okay, I'm going to put his head. And we clean that up in a second. Now this one may be a little bit too long. I think I'll shorten it up. Now about right here underneath, I'm gonna do a vertical straight up and down line right under his his where his head connects. Okay, I'm gonna move this over just a bit. 63. Thank you, Karen Wall. 63. If anybody doesn't agree with that, send me a note. Okay, did you guys see that um, visual eye test? How many boxes are in the? Uh... Okay, so now I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to do the foot. See, I'm going to line the foot up this way, and it's going to go the same angle. It's wider here. It gets smaller as it moves away. It gets smaller as it moves away. The other now this is too long. I think. What do you think? Do you think that's too long, or does it look okay? Should I make it just a wee bit shorter? Mm, I think it looks okay. So I'm going to make the foot. Let's see how does that look work for the foot. Let's see. Is that okay? I think they're both a little bit too long. I think I'll shave off just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I like it. So let's go ahead and darken it in. Our, our ginger, but it's all about size. It's larger and it gets smaller. And it's also all about li lining up. We're lining up. It gets smaller, smaller, smaller. See, there's a vanishing point way back here. Well, technically, we could do this. If you want to go crazy, I wasn't going to do it, but I'll, let's see. Let's squeeze one in. What if we wanted to put the gingerbread men to two like holding hands? Squeeze another one in here. You want to do it? You can. Look at this. Uh... I'm going to make that foot. See that? So you have two. And then, you know, you can have, you can have the more and more and more going down, right? And see, on this one, I have this right here. See, I have three in a row. I have a dance. Look at the, look at the little dancing guy here. This was the different levels, the 99 levels of practicing for time levels to build your your instinct. So level one of the orange is this one. Level two is six high. Level three is uh, 15 high. Level You get up to level like six. Look at that. Look at how fancy we get. Look at level six right there. Isn't that cool? All right. So the whole point is practicing the alignment, practicing the Renaissance words, building up your confidence, building up your skill. Okay. Let's draw the, draw this here. Let's draw the back. Okay, looking cool. I love it. Now we're just putting the detail. Detail, detail, detail. Someone text me. Someone say detail. Someone text detail. We're going to put like a, you know, the snowflakes. You cut out a paper and you unfold the snowflake. 
and it you know it folds up we can make paper cutouts of the gingerbread man here so I'll taper that and I'm gonna draw the eyes here I'm gonna draw the give the gingerbread man some eyes this one's smaller and you can give gingerbread man a smile you could open his mouth too if you want you can have an open mouth maybe a little tongue in there so I got I was able to talk in Ireland to Alfred and that was just a wonderful conversation hey guys how's how's the uh, uh, how's the audio sound you guys how's the audio and how's the video how is it is it uh, now look I'm putting thickness on the edge I'm coming around like this putting thickness on the left right and then I come under here I'm gonna put a little bit of thickness down here go up give me an a uh, thank you offered for the detail give me an a one two three four five and a V one two three four five for audio video five being excellent one being yeah not so good so back here let's go ahead and put a little thickness on here I'm gonna see the top thickness of this arm I'm gonna see the top of this arm Oh, great. We're getting fives across the board. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's put draw the top of this thickness here. Isn't this a cute little drawing? Look at this. After, I tell you, they're getting that after 63 days. I'm having to dig a little deeper in my folders. To, I'm not sure if I've drawn a drawing before or not with you guys. You can put, so you see a little bit. So if I start drawing a drawing and it's a repeat, someone, you got to let me know. I'd the goal is not to have any repeats for the 90 days, okay? All right, so hey, what are, what are we gonna do in 90 days? What are we gonna do? Are we just gonna stop? Or are we gonna keep going? Now that's part of our, our, our core day schedule. What do you guys think we should do? Should we, should we stop and then come back? Should we keep going? What would be the next catchy, uh, next catchy goal? Would it be uh, 180 days? Would it be one year, one day? What do you think? What, what's your opinion? It's been really hard to get here to 63 days, but it's been just wonderfully rewarding. I look forward to it every day. Keep the draw. Keep the draw with someone show. Keep the draw with someone show. I don't quite get that. I say, yeah, thank you, Karen, for the list. Karen, thank you, thank you, thank you. Karen sent me a really uh, comprehensive list. So now I've got to pick, put thumbnails next to each of those titles, thumbnail drawings. So, uh, of course, unless I can get Karen to get you to volunteer 100 hours of editing work to make me a little index page, that's, oh, thank you so much for volunteering to make me a reference index page. I'll put it on the website if you do it, and I'll say Karen Wall's reference index page. Ooh. You can put on a t-shirt. Karen, you can put on a t-shirt and you can sell it. Sell it all over the world. Ooh. Look at that. Ideas. Okay, good job. Now, uh, I will update it once a week. Uh, thank you, Karen. You, you, you didn't get my joke. Now, I see you did that. Now, I want more. I want more, more Karen's time. I want a full illustrated index. Mm. Ah, I can't believe I just said that. You already did a lot of work, and now I want more, more, more. Here, put the look at the shadow down here. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Put that shadow on, and then I, I think should I go? Should I draw a couple more, you guys? I'm gonna definitely put. Uh, I'm gonna put like a someone up here hanging. I'm gonna put a. He's gonna have his arm. Let's put a little. Let's put a, a gingerbread man dangling here. So we'll see. We'll see his head. And his he's waving. Yeah. And then, you know what? I think I'll, I'm gonna make him swinging like this. I'm gonna make his 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 feet are swinging. And so you see the thickness of his feet. This is cute, right? And then his other foot is going to be over here. Wee! And there's his head and his eyes. He's all happy. 
So there's one guy. Do you like our little guy? He's waving. My drawings are bad. Maybe your drawings are wonderful, Karen. But, but look at she's she now she's trying to recruit some collaborators. I like that, Karen. I like that. Although I do love your drawings. Your drawings are wonderful. What do you mean your drawings are bad? Confidence crisis. Everybody tell Karen her drawings are wonderful. Let's get let's get Karen some love. She's having a confidence crisis. Quick, give her some hearts. Give her some thumbs up. Jim Mo, Jim Jim Mo, uh, Mooney, you're always good for hearts and thumbs up. But give Karen ten hearts, everybody. Give her a boost. Her drawings are wonderful. I'm going to put a shadow. Gingerbread man's dangling from the shadow. Look at the see Karen. Look at all the hearts. Everybody loves you. You're part of our creative tribe here, Karen. We got we got all kinds of love for you guys. Here, let's put the shadow. That fun? They got to put a little thickness on this guy. Ah, that's cute. I, I can't wait to see what, uh, you guys who add uh, the detail. There's Clinton. He's on now. He knows Clinton. I want to see if you can. What are you gonna do with this, Clinton? That's gonna be interesting. I want to see what, uh, Lisa Wiley. I want to see what you're gonna do. Okay, and then I have that brought me to another Lisa Wiley from Brazil. You you reminded me of another phone call that I got today. Okay, now here, I'm going to make this guy lean it back here. I got a great phone call from France. All the way from France. Can anybody guess who called me from France? I'm going to see if anybody can guess. Here's a hint. I'm going to see if you need a hint first. Let's just see if you need a hint. So I'm going to draw a little guy dangling here. And I'm going to make his, his, his foot hanging down here. And then look at there's his foot going up. Isn't that cute? Do you love it? Anybody guess? No, not the frog. Let's see. Have you done the frog yet? No. Well, I'll do the frog. We'll do the frog. Uh, it wasn't Gregory. Gregory's not in France. Gregory's in Quebec. Uh, hi, Clinton. How you doing? Uh, this is who called me this morning from France. It was, here's a hint. Here's a hint, you guys. The first, here it is. The first, the first, you, you, you can draw on 30 days challenger from 2016. He was the reason why I started the whole challenge to begin with. Because he bought my book and he said, I am a kinesthetic visual learner. I have to learn by doing, by working with the material. And so I said, well, I'll tell you what. If you watch me, look at, I'm being creative where I put this thickness here. I said, watch me for, on, on uh, YouTube, watch me for 30 days and we'll learn how to draw. That's it, the professor, Professor Bill. And he called me up, and it was so cool. And he's been watching these. He's going to come on. It's just so late for him. So I have no audio. Just checking in and say, oh, oh, well, hey, Clint, I'm glad you did check in. Oops, I don't like those. I don't like the. But you know what we can do on this guy? Let's give him some sunglasses so he's cool. Let's give this guy some sunglasses. This guy's, this guy's way cool. There, is that. How's that? Does that work? He's like chilling. He's chilling here. Should we give him an adult beverage? <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Mark is getting edgy. Here, all the way around here. Here, oh, wait. I'm gonna give him a glass of milk. Of course, we're gonna give him a glass of an adult beverage. We'll give him a glass of milk. Little milks. Oh, milk and gingerbread, right? I always like at Clinton. He's, he's. Uh, see, I gave him an adult beverage. I gave him a glass of milk. Not chocolate milk. That's his kid's beverage. I give him regular milk. Turbo G. That's right. Turbo G rated. That's right. Put a shadow down here. Put a shadow down here. Shade the side. And we can use our stompy in a second. So let's darken this in. Are you guys enjoying this? I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm going to try to do these a little earlier in the days because I do have a lot more energy. Um, and, I, and I love to be able to 
you know, chat with you and spend some time with you here and enjoy it that night, it's it gets hard if I don't do it. But sometimes days get so full, you know how it goes. It's sometimes hard to get, get draw it. All right, so we have our two little gingerbread man. This is cool. I love it. And then uh, now this is day 63. I'm going to go and sign it because I'm going to put these. This is how I'm going to keep track of these on Instagram. So, and I always forget to sign them, so I'm going to go and sign them. Yeah, and I want to do, do you have time for one more drawing? Hi, Dwayne Holloman. How are you? I want to draw that this guy. Now, this is a, you see this right here? What do you guys think? You want to have him jumping in a glass of milk? Well, I got a story about this. My dear, dear friend, Joe, Joey Doyle, Joseph Doyle. Uh, just one of my, my very special friends. I've been friends with him for third, 40 years, 35 years. Uh, he... Uh, was one of the reasons I ended up moving to Houston, Texas, and he was the art supervisor for years with Aldine School District, and um, he uh, basically is responsible for taking the arts program and the Aldine and uh, uh, VASE Awards, uh, the Visual Arts uh, Scholastic, Visual Arts Scholastic, endowment something I can't remember but he took this this program and made it just go just turbo thousand fold well we lost Joey about gotta be four three years four years and the reason I'm thinking about Joey Doyle with this is because we had lunch we always tried to get that we tried to make sure we had lunch together once a month and now I'm here I'm, I'm getting emotional thinking about Joey we what a guy he was such a good friend and we had lunch to share to tell you know stories he was you know into the art national art education scene he was in the national uh, art educators uh, board for the naea and for the texas art education association he was just really really involved with with uh, promoting and inspiring the visual arts in k through 12 schools especially in aldine school district well we had lunch in Houston, Texas, in one of my our favorite restaurants, which was this Cajun restaurant I'm on the highway, uh, Bel Bellway 8 and uh, 45. And a big milk truck pulled up outside. And I stopped our whole conversation and I went running outside because I loved the picture of, a, of his glass of milk spilling and they were pouring milk into it. And I said, oh, that's great because later on I was doing a lesson for kids on gingerbread. I thought I could have them jump into the milk. So Joey got a, a kick out of that. So for that for that whole lunch, we drew glasses of milk spilling, with feet sticking out on our all the mats of the Cajun, the um, the, the crawdad, you know the crawdad mats and the aprons. It was really cool. So this is this is dedicated to Joey Doyle. He's saying, he's saying, hey, hi Joey. Look at this. I'm getting all weepy. I miss my buddy. Hey, Joey. If you remember Joey, uh, Joey Doyle, you guys, anybody out there, send him, uh, send a shout out here to the text. I'll send this to his wife and his girls so that uh, um, they can uh, uh, see that we were thinking about him and send him some love today. Okay, so here we go. We're going to draw the glass of milk. So draw the four shortened circle. Draw the four shortened circle, and a little, it's going to be a glass of milk with gingerbread jumping in here. Hello, Miss Dace, all the way from Norwich, England. How are you? Thank you for rescheduling everything. I was supposed to be at, actually, today is, today what we were supposed to be doing the library in Norwich today, Sunday. No, today's Monday. The library was going to be yesterday. So anyway, thank you. You're so cool. I was actually supposed to be leaving for Liverpool, Liverpool uh, uh, Hospital today. So we'll do it in September. Definitely, definitely. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Robin Townsend. So there's our bowl. Now I'm going to draw the splashing milk. Doesn't that look, doesn't look fun? So let's do this, the splashing milk. Everything's plopping, right, right? I'm going to draw. Well, I'm going to have, have the, the, the guy coming in here. 
from the side. It's like maybe he got he woo he swung in. So everything is going to be splashing from from this here out. See some big, some small. We're using variation and variety. So some some of these little loops will be big, some will be huge, some will be small, and then I'll, I'll even break some off. So you got to be just really loose and sketchy, okay? And so we start light, and then I'll go now. I'm going to draw a little darker, but I want to clean this up. I want to clean this up here, all the way across here. So uh, hi, Joy, Ginger, and the girls. Hi, Ginger Doyle. Hey, girls. We miss you. Now, here, let's put the. Let's put. I'm gonna color this in here. I'm going to erase, I'm going to erase it. I'm going to erase it to detail it in. And, uh, yeah, boy, I got some, some one of my favorite uh, Christmas Eves of all time was sitting on the pier in Oceanside, California with Joey Doyle, and we played Battleship at the adult beverage area <laughs> on the Oceanside Pier for, oh, my goodness, uh, Battleship for no, it wasn't Battleship. It wasn't Battleship. It was um, Risk. We played Risk. Remember that big game, the Risk. We played Risk for goodness eight hours. It was so much fun. And then Ginger and Joey came out to Santa Barbara, and we had a full ten days out there. I just remember Ginger freaking out because there's all those bridges over the canyons, and she just she hates bridges. I've never known anybody since since I met Ginger who hates bridges heights more than more than Ginger Doyle. And oh my goodness, she was just so uncomfortable. And we have a lot of bridges in Central California going over all the deep canyons. This poor thing was just a shivering little hamster going over them. Yeah, oh my goodness. Remember, hey Ginger, when you watch this, remember the going to the Cold Springs Tavern and having that delicious barbecue and such great memories of all of us and then uh, whenever I was in town Joey would take me because he's always helping me try to keep in shape so Joey would take me to a 24 hour workout and uh, I don't know I'm putting a P on his, his foot his foot is a, just a gingerbread foot and so Joey Joey would be doing something that I could tell was causing him excruciating discomfort. And so I would try to join him to show that I'm, you know, oh, I'm a man, I'm not a mouse. So I would try to do it too. And then he always, and I'd look up at him, and after I collapsed, right, I'd say, how in the world are you keeping that position for three minutes or whatever? And he goes, you have to go to your happy place. <laughs> ah! He was like hanging out with Mr. Rogers. You have to go to your happy place. So I still use that. So this this lesson here, that little glass of milk, dedicated to my old good friend, Joey Doyle. I am so lucky to have known you, buddy. Lucky, lucky, lucky. And everybody in your circle. Oh, my goodness. His memorial service, you guys. You know how... I know everybody thinks about it. You all think about it, your memorial service. I wonder who would show up. Uh, you know, if anybody would show up, right? You know, and I, I always say, oh, when, if someone says that around me, I'll go, oh, I'll come and, and I'll bring a date, right? The, the kind of a funny joke, but with Joey, oh my goodness, thousands, thousands of people showed up for his memorial. It was just, it was a beautiful event. Just beautiful. It was a celebration of his life and just, it was great. So, um, if we all could have that kind of impact, even if we could have one tenth the impact. So put the shadow on the ground. Yeah, Mackinac Bridge is the, that's up in Michigan, and uh, I went over Mackinac Bridge with another Houston, Texas art teacher, Allison Hammaker. She was the one who told, showed me. All those, uh, the Mackinac Island and all that, that was so cool. I always remember doing that with the queen of art down there in Aldine, Allison Hammacker. Shout out to you, Allison. 
Okay, let's see here. Uh, Dave, Dave Albertson, how you doing, Dave? I'm getting, I'm getting uh, Garrison Wright's watching. Hey, Steve Levine. Steve, how you doing, Steve? My voice gets high-pitched, I know, but I get all excited. Hey, Steve, do you want to come on? Uh, do you want to try to come on live and show me? Did you do some drawings? You guys, everybody, Steve Levine is one of the, if not the original, Ninja Turtle comic book illustrators from 1981 or something like that. He's another handsome old-timer like me. So, Steve, if you want to come on camera, feel free to send me a text. What an honor to have you jump on here. I love having my buddies, my my friends in the industry coming on. Okay, Alfred has a question. Mark, a question. I bought a stump blend. When it gets black, is there a way? No, don't clean it. That's the better. more black it gets, the better. Oh, my goodness. Never, ever clean it. Don't clean it. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. I, I, I loathe new stumps. I do not like brand new stumps. I like them when they get all that, when they get all the... the 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 uh, residual it's called residual pencil residual now the only problem is you have to be careful see I, I have some of my favorite this is my favorite this is my favorite this one's too new and so if it's too new it'll tend to be muddy it tends to be muddy does that make sense it tends to make the value you need value difference you need to go from dark to light and if it's not very clean, just erase it to clean it up. And you, I use my finger. Do, use your brush, you guys, to do that. But look at this. The more you use it, the better it gets. It's, a, it's like a baseball glove. It's like a, your favorite skillet. Your favorite skillet's a good example. It's like, um, give me something else. The more you use it, the more it better. Your favorite cooking uh, spoon, your wooden, wooden spoon. Give me some more examples, you guys. Uh, baseball mitt, cooking spoon, skillet. Um, the more you use it, the better it gets. Anybody else have any other ideas? My stompy, my pencils. I like that. Do you guys like our little splash? Isn't that fun? There we go, guys. That's awesome. All right. Well, there you go. And uh, I'm glad we got to give Joey Doyle a shout out and um, to uh, Ginger. And to the girls, hey, sweeties, um, uh, Godfather Mark's giving you a shout-out. And then, look at that. Isn't that cool? All right, guys, well, thanks for drawing with me. You guys did awesome uh, for day 63. I'm trying to get it so it's centered. Thanks, guys. 90-day, 90, 90 drawings. Thanks for your support for the Mark Kisses Imagination Initiative. Sign up. Sign your family up for Draw 3D. Not only are you going to get 300 great lessons, you're going to get um, get the joy of supporting my wonderful nonprofit. For those of you who are in San Diego, be sure to come to my San Diego Comic Con right there. That's coming up this next weekend. Uh, Emerald City at right here in Seattle. That's coming up next right there. There's the dates. Take a screenshot of that. And then I'll be at C2E2 in Chicago. Take a screenshot of that. And then uh, I'll be doing summer camps all summer long. Summer camps are open. Go online right now, markkissler.com, and sign up for summer camp. And then at the in August, I'll be in Philadelphia, okay? So summer camps are open. Hope you guys sign up. Thank you guys for drawing with me. Have a great day. I love you. Take care of each other. Bye, everybody.